Air King Breader Blender Sifter training video. Normally the day will begin with the sifter disassembled and the parts laying on top of the sifter table so that they dry completely overnight. Please note that the brush is mounted on the brush post so that it dries keeping its optimum shape. If any of these components are wet to start the day, the flour will stick to the brush and clog up the screen, resulting in excess breading loss. Air King Sifter Assembly Instructions First, install the dough ball chute under the motor drive, taking care that the tabs insert in the holes of the wall of the sifter. Next, install the sifter screen, taking care that the notch in the screen is located over the dough ball chute. Next, install the sifter brush, taking care that the square drive end goes to the motor and the round pin end goes on the pin of the sifter screen. Next, install the brush cover, taking care that the opening in the brush cover is opposite the motor drive. Next, install the top breading lug, taking care that the hole in the breading lug aligns with the hole on the brush cover. Insert lug plug in hole of breading lug. Insert the bottom breading lug underneath the sifter brush assembly and insert the dough ball pan underneath the motor compartment. Daily preventative maintenance. First, verify that all internal parts are dry so that they will not cake up during the sifting process. Inspect breading lugs, dough ball pan, and lug plug for any cracks or signs of breakage. Inspect the sifter brush for proper auger shape and make sure it is in good condition. Verify that the sifter brush makes proper contact with the screen to ensure efficient sifting. Sifter weekly preventative maintenance. Inspect the sifter screen for damage or missing brush locator pin. Verify that the brush cover is in good condition, especially noting that the brush cleaning rod is in place. Verify that the brush post is in place and that the staff is aware that it is used for drying the brush at night. Sifter monthly preventative maintenance. Check that the instructional sticker is present and legible. Inspect bottom of sifter for proper support and alignment of pans. Sifter quarterly preventative maintenance. Inspect that the spring loaded drive coupling is securely mounted to the drive motor. Verify that the spring loaded drive coupling pushes the brush onto the screen pin end. Verify that the brush rotates freely by spinning with hand. Inspect the electrical components. Make sure the lights are undamaged and the Mylar decal covering the buttons is in place and undamaged. On older models, make sure the button covers are installed. Verify that the stop and start buttons are working and that the indicator lights are operating correctly. Verify that the timer shuts off the sifter machine after 60 seconds. Inspect the power supply. Make sure the cord insulation is free from damage or burn marks. 
Verify that the cord is completely seated into the AC socket on the back of the motor cover. Verify that the cord is secured through the plastic P-shaped clip on the back of the motor cover. Check table feet or casters for alignment and operation. Review table legs and crossbars for loose screws or damage.